All right. Uh, playing something today. It's uh, not HVVR, which I will play uh, one of these days. Uh, get back to it. But uh, I'm playing something a little different. This is called uh, Iron Rebellion. <laughs> I had to look at the... Uh, I had to look at the uh, st the Steam uh, page there, uh, but yeah, this is a mech game, which uh, you know I've been waiting for a long time for something like this. Uh, there was uh, I forgot what the other one was. Something um, it was a multiplayer game though, so I didn't I didn't really it didn't click with me. But this, uh, I think, if I remember the uh, video in the Steam page description, this ha is, has like a single player component to it. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's get started with the setup here. Okay, uh, there is a recenter, which I will show later, but uh, it's pretty cool that they included that. All right, so joystick height to uh, raise the thing. Right. Got a uh, virtual joystick type setup here, like in a VTOL VR. Although I think I might be a little too far from it. I'm sitting in my chair. It's uh, just the height a bit more. Okay. All right. All right. To hold the uh, to hold this, the the uh, what you call it the throttle. I think this is the throttle, and this is the uh, joystick. You click. For the Vive, at least, you click the uh, the uh, side buttons on the controller, so they lock in place, which is nice. Taking a cue from VTOL VR. I think I might lower these down a bit, though. All right, cool. Click to finish. I think that's good enough. Turning the mech. Hover hand over right joystick and toggle grip. So. That's how you turn. Okay. Cool, cool. Moving the mech. Grip left joystick and move thumb. Uh, trigger to jump. Okay, so we're gonna use the trackpad on this, which is... Yeah, this is gonna be a little... Uh... No, it's okay. It's not bad. Alright, jump is trigger, which uh, doesn't show right now, but... Uh... Alright, pull right trigger to shoot, hit button to reload. Okay, so... Alright, reloading is down on the trackpad. Hopefully the volume is okay, because uh, I haven't changed it from Star Wars uh, Squadron, so it might be a little loud. Alright, so I shot. Press down to reload, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move this down a little bit more. Switching guns, left gun, right gun, both guns, left gun, right gun, both guns, okay. Move right thumb, okay. Up is both guns, okay, cool. Click to finish training. This is a uh, public alpha, by the way, so... It's free for uh, for testing, so if you have a VR headset and uh, would like to get in on this, just uh, find the Iron Iron Rebellion page on Steam and download it, which is pretty cool. Because uh, you know, uh, I can't I can't remember the name of that other uh, mech game that was multiplayer focused, right? I wanted to try it, but then I saw the words multiplayer, and I'm just like, uh. It's not quite my thing. I mean, I think there might be some single player content, uh, like with bots and stuff, but uh, yeah. But I'm hoping that when this comes out, if this comes out, it has like, you know, maybe a single player story. I, I don't know. That's asking too much for an independent, uh, you know, game developer to do. But. Uh, no, I want I want single player games. Give me single player games. I don't really play multiplayer, so wave survival. Okay. Oh, 
Well, you know what? We're going to do practice mode. There's some known bugs. Obviously, this is a uh, alpha, so uh, decal smearing, laser rifle is very work in progress. Basic AI, AI for now. They can't fly. Mech bay UI stand in. Aim is a bit sloppy and does not converge on target. Okay. Sound not mastered, mind the volume, which is probably even worse since <laughs> I'm using settings from another game. Uh, can move mech before boot animation is finished. All damage speeds and health and flux. Okay. Yeah, that's nothing. Um, Alright, so we got different types of mechs, which uh, only right now we have light class, which is, uh, well, I don't know what that means yet. Different weapons for each arm, which we can't change. Uh, let me just, uh, check out the, uh, environment here. Wow. Pretty cool. Alright, well, we're doing practice mode, because this is the first time I'm playing this, so... Let's do it. Alright, it uh, looks like there's, uh, I'm looking at my uh, recording right now. Looks like they're smoothing for the spectator cam, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Uh, I can't see anything in my view right now, but I think you guys are seeing the cockpit in uh, the recording. For me, it's just the uh, blank void with the uh, game's uh, logo. Steam, Steam artwork, whatever it's called. And it just says waiting. Oh, here we go. I think it's working now. I hear noises. Okay. All right, so. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I'm trying to get used to the controls here. Instead of twisting the controller to rotate, which, uh, yeah, I kind of used to with uh, VTOL VR. That's the yaw, right? So if you want to rotate, you have to tilt the controller left and right. You don't twist, you tilt. So that's pretty cool to know. All right. I kind of, you know, I was uh, not digging the touchpad at first, but it's actually pretty cool. You can, ver you know, you can choose, like, uh, you can get a more precise, like, speed. I'm strafing here. All right, doing a little bit of jump jets. That's nice. Okay, <laughs> I like the uh, I like the, uh, the little uh, screens there that aren't completely finished. Again, alpha, <laughs> and they say stand in. So, all right, let me grab the uh, joystick here. Getting used to the controls. Let's jump up here. Oops, my uh, mech is sort of uh, jittering. Oh, I guess we yeah, uh, again. I think that was mentioned in the uh, the log there. The uh, jumping is not uh, quite ready yet, but uh, again, alpha. Nice little haptic buzz in my controllers whenever I fire. Uh, let me switch to the uh, left. Right. Both. Oops, I didn't quite make it. <laughs> All right, let me just, uh, ooh, look around here. Pretty nice environment. All right, well, you know what? 
wonder what these do. Nope, nothing. All right. Oh, here's a uh, quality. Oops. All right. Yeah, turn it down so you get more frames, huh? But it seems to run okay on Fantastic, which is... Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted to do. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Seems to be okay on Fantastic. Doesn't, uh... Doesn't seem to be any slowdown. Again, I can't really see the recording. Oops, uh, I seem to have fallen off. <laughs> right, one more jump and then I'll try to do some... Uh... All right. All right, let's abandon the map. But that was good practice. Now let's go into the wave survival mode, which uh, hopefully I can survive. I kind of wish there was an option to turn off the haptics because that saves on battery life on controllers. But, eh, that's okay. Also, this should be a starter procedure. That'd be really cool. But, uh, you know, whoops, uh, time to go. Come on, where are these guys at? Was, uh, wave one. Get a reload. I see him. Reload, gotta reload. Whoa, oh, oh, no. Hey, where did you come from? these guys at, huh? I got the high ground, come on. Okay, well, I'm just gonna reload my other 
weapon here. Gonna go down. Oops. Oh no. We're hiding. Ah. Reload, 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 reload. died. <laughs> All right, I got to wave four, and um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Not as a uh, simulation as I thought, but uh, you know, I mean, it's still fun piloting a mech in VR. And I'm getting getting a hang of the controls, so pretty cool <laughs> all right one more time grab them you know you gotta lead them serpentine I see him. Radar. I keep forgetting that there's a radar. I died. There's a radar there. <laughs> all right, wave four. Well, that was uh, pretty interesting. I get. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to this alpha. So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, once you get used to the controls, because you have to, you have to turn, you have to like. What's the uh, what's the word here? Instead of twist, you turn. So if you want to go left, you turn this way. If you want to go right, you go this way. Up and down. So no twisting involved, which is uh, okay. You know, it's cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, 
the uh, trackpad actually works pretty well in this game, so... I mean, if you're on a Vive, then... That's, uh, that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, if, again, it's the alpha is free right now, so if you have a VR headset, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try it. Uh, but uh, the game, I think, is still under development, so there's no price, there's no release date, I think. Uh, I can't see from here. The uh, text is a little too small on the uh, store page, so. But, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's a pretty interesting... Uh, Pretty interesting game. I mean, it's, it's not quite what I was uh, wanting. Because, I, I, you know, for me personally, I would want a more of a simulator kind of game. Sort of like like VTOL or, you know, Ace 3 VR. Uh, those games are simulators. Like, you know, you have to, you have to flick some switches to, to start up the, uh, the... You know, the boot up process. Kind of like, uh, you know... Booting up a fighter jet, you have to turn on the APU and the uh, the uh, battery backup and all that stuff. This is uh, this is a little more arcadey, but I mean, let's see if I can make it up here. Oops, I made it. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, you know what? Let's jump over here. See if we can jump up here. Whoops. Didn't quite make it. I wonder if I can... No, I don't think I can jump all the way up there. Ow! <laughs> I can't... I can't escape the map! Oops, I didn't quite make it. Nice little playground here, so you can, uh... Practice your uh, jumping. Oops, oh no. Uh oh, we got this again, which is, I think, yeah. It's just uh, the jumping is a little bugged. Which is okay. That's fine. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, that's pretty much all there is to this, so, um, yeah, that's, uh, the Iron, what is this called, uh, <laughs> Iron Rebellion, right, Iron Rebellion, uh, Public Alpha, so if you, like I said, it's on there, if you want to try it, uh, that's about it for me, for now, but I will see you guys next time.